Hello, I'm John Dee, and this is Bushfire Science. It's a series where we look at the science behind climate change and bushfires. In this episode, we'll be looking at how Australia's forests bounce back after fires. To discuss that, we're talking today to Dr. Patrick Norman. He's an expert in spatial and satellite data, as well as forest ecology. And I'm glad to say that he's with us now. Uh, thanks for joining us, Dr. Norman. Thanks. Nice to be here, John. We all heard about the huge numbers of animals that died in the 2019 to 20 black summer fires. It had a really big impact on wildlife. But what impact did the fires have on the forests? Are those burnt out forests now dead? No, they're not. Australia's forests have been evolving with fire for about the last 60 million years and respond pretty quickly after being burnt. Around 70% of plants in eucalypt forests have recovery buds. So these are those areas on a plant that will actually push out new leaves after a fire's moved through, even if all the other leaves on the plant have been burnt. Uh, eucalypts generally have these recovery buds underneath a thick layer of bark, where other plant species in the forest, such as the ferns, will actually have these recovery buds underneath the ground. So these not only help the plant to survive, but they actually provide a really good food source for animals. As you said, uh, green shoots can come up quite quickly after a bushfire, but how long does it take for a forest to properly recover? Is it years or is it decades? Quite quickly, John. Uh, a study by Heath et al. in 2016 found that forest starts to actually thicken up after about two years and gets to a near pre-fire condition within about five years. So that canopy is starting to thicken up well. Uh, this is really dependent on any human-induced change though. Activities such as logging or land clearing can dramatically increase this recovery time. These activities often remove the large hollow-bearing trees that provide habitat and homes for animals such as lead as possums, sugar gliders, kookaburras or parrots. Are you essentially saying uh, that as long as we leave the forest alone, it'll bounce back? Yes, we've got to make sure to not impact the other areas, uh, the unburnt areas within this burnt landscape though. Um, a couple of studies, Winarski and Recker in 1997 and Matthews et al in 2007, found that these unburnt areas within the burnt landscape provide critical habitat for animals. So they can survive in these areas and then move back out into the burnt landscape once that area is starting to recover. Koalas are a really, really good example of this. They'll hunker down and wait for those recovery buds to push out those new leaves, and then they can move back into those burnt landscapes within months after a fire. Final question. Given all that's happened, what does the science tell us about the recovery of burnt forests and the wildlife that live there? Recovery buds will push out pretty quickly after being burnt, so this will provide a nice bit of habitat for animals. The canopy starts to thicken up within two to five years, and that unburnt forest within that burnt landscape is really critical to house animals and to maintain populations. But the bottom line is we need to leave that burnt forest alone. Dr. Norman, thanks for joining us. Uh, we really appreciate your time. Thanks, John. Now, if you want more information on the science behind climate change and bushfires, visit the website at bushfirefacts.org. I'm John Dee, and that was Bushfire Science. Thanks for joining us.